Well, Melbourne researchers found a drug normally used to treat diabetes can significantly reduce the pain and stiffness of knee osteoarthritis. It confirmed this could have a significant impact not just on people with knee arthritis, but also on the 70,000 knee replacements performed each year in Australia. Radio National Health Report's Norman Swan is here to tell us a little bit more. Norman, what do we know about this drug? So this drug, as you say, is used, to use, is used in uh, diabetes. It's called metformin. Now, anybody listening to our conversation or watching our conversation who's into anti-aging will know, ah, I've read about metformin because these anti-aging nut jobs who are taking 5,000 supplements a day are also taking metformin because metformin does interfere with inflammation in the immune system when the immune system is overactive, which is thought to be one of the, the causes of aging. Well, using this anti-inflammatory property, people, researchers around the world have looked at metformin in terms of its influence on arthritis. Now, it used to be thought that osteoarthritis was just wear and tear in the joints. But what they now know is that inflammation is a significant part of it. But anti-inflammatory painkillers don't have a big effect on osteoarthritis and don't change the course of the disease. So what this trial was of people, and also the thing I should say, just as way of background and context, is if you are overweight or obese, your immune system is over, can be overactive and cause inflammation, which explains why some people, when they get arthritis, get it in their hands rather than in their weight-bearing joints mm. because of the immune system. Anyway, this was a study of knee osteoarthritis. Huge costs, as you indicated in the intro around about 70,000 knee replacements a year in Australia. Some of those knee replacements are done probably too early and risk the risk of revision later on in life. This, so this study took people who were overweight and obese, they didn't have diabetes, gave them metformin or a placebo, and they showed significant improvements in pain and stiffness in their knee arthritis, mm. which if you are early on in your journey with knee arthritis, because rehabilitation does make a difference. If you can strengthen up the muscles in your whole leg, not just in front of your leg, you can improve your outcomes and slow the progress to knee replacement or prevent it altogether. And if, you, if this result is true, then taking something like metformin, which is actually overall good for your health and well-being, um, could actually delay knee replacement in some people, which would make a big difference, or maybe avoid it in others, particularly if they got onto rehab using the lower level of pain and stiffness mm, mm. as uh, to give them some more freedom to do some more exercises on that side of their body. Uh, are there any significant um, uh, problems that with metformin, though, that metformin that aren't yeah, like, like the any good drug? ones? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Too. Um, yep, t tummy upset is probably the, the main okay. one. There are more serious side effects. But when GPs start metformin, they start slowly and move up to the doors. You don't start, you don't start on a big dose quickly.